Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Italian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here. And we have this image from Sol 1467 on the Jet Propulsion Laboratory website here. This is an official Mars image. Uh, and we have this rather interesting, or well, not so interesting, pile of rocks, depending on your point of view. And then we have this thing here. I'm going to show you a clip of this in a second that looks a bit like a mobile phone. Uh, now, it may not be a mobile phone, it may be something else, but it's shaped like a mobile phone and it seems to have what appears to be a screen on it. So without further ado, let's go to the folder and uh, have a look. But before I do that, um, actually, I'll credit Aya Lawrence, who posted this on Artadian TV Mars Magazine, my uh, Facebook group. Totally free to join up if you want to join up to this. And here's the original post with a link as well. And if we look at some of the comments here, uh, it, they're basically saying it looks like a chimp face, like a picture of a chimp face here with two eyes. You can see two eye sockets there, or eyes or whatever, and a little nose, a head up here. And what appears to be um, cracks coming across it here, perhaps. And there's another uh, enhancement here. Someone else has done a clip, but darker. And it's a really pronounced kind of rectangular shape, this, which is very hard to deny. Uh, I really can't see how this can be a natural f rock formation. And there's someone's put a, a picture of a, a, a smashed mobile phone here. So there we have it. Um, someone's put a little picture of a monkey or a chimpanzee here, Mark Summers. So this is causing some real interest here, and uh, I, when I saw it, I thought, wow. Uh, I, I initially looked at it and thought, well, it actually, to me, looks like a rock with something painted on it, like a, like a, a little painting. And we're only seeing part of it. This may come right down into the sand here. But let me show you some close-ups anyway, because I've done some clips. And uh, I'll show you those now, because we don't want to take all day here. Um, first of all, I'll show you the raw clip here. And even in the raw image, this has only been enlarged, I haven't done anything to it. Um, you can see this fine edge to it here. Almost like a label or a, a, a rectangular picture uh, that's been painted onto a rock. I mean, this may not even be a rock. Just because it's surrounded by rocks doesn't mean it is rock. Uh, it's probably got a lot of dust on it to make it look rocky. Uh, like everything else does. But uh, we have found lots of other objects that aren't rocks, so this wouldn't be the first. Um, so there we have it there. And let's have a look at the enhancement of that, uh, which I've done here. Now, all I've done here is colour corrected it by using the one step photo fix. Now, I'll show you how I do that, just to prove that it's really, really easy. I've taken the clip of the image from the original, okay, and there's a, a on even the cheapest uh, photographic uh, software will have something like this on it. One step photo fix. Nearly all of them do. You don't need uh, uh, an expensive program like Photoshop or anything like that. One step photo fix. There we are. And what that does, it correct. It gets rid of that orange filter and uh, cleans the image up a bit. Adds some contrast and. Uh, there we have it, that's, and that's it. You don't have to do anything really. I mean, it's there. Um, it's absolutely insane, and it does look like a face with two eyes looking at you. Now, could we be misinterpreting this? Could this actually be hollow, and there's something looking out, looking up from inside? I mean, almost. Uh, it, it's really, really strange, and. Um, I'm struggling a bit with this because it's very different from a lot of the other things. Although there are lots of other strange things on Mars, this is one of the, the, the craziest, I think, so far. And um, I'm having problems getting my head around it, to be honest. And also, notice this object next to it. Now, is that a rock? It has a circular part in, in the middle of it as well. This looks like some kind of... Uh, object rather than a rock okay well let's go back to the raw image 
it's there. You can see it. Once you get used to the to the orange filter, you can see it there. It's a circle. Let's redo that. Let's go in darker. That's brighter. We don't, we don't want brighter. We want darker. If you really darken it up, it, what happens then is you can start to see some of these shapes. And you, you've got a circle here. So that's an object. I don't know what it is. It's part of something, but by the looks of it, with a circle in it. Uh, okay, now, what the hell is it? And, and this thing may have broken off it, I don't know. I mean, is it a mobile phone? It is shaped like a mobile phone. Now imagine, for instance, that uh, it's it wasn't buried. I mean, the thing could come down to here, like this. Buried in the sand, like that. Um, or, let's go darker again there, yeah. If this little rock here wasn't there, in front of it, perhaps it would come to sort of here, like that. Don't know. Uh, that was really bad. <laughs> let's try that again. It, it, it's partially obscured, so it, it may not be that shape. It may come to here. And the screen, if this is a screen, may come to there, like that. Um, let's do that again. That was terrible. I'm trying to use my old mouse here, which doesn't make as much noise as my other mouse, but it's actually quite hard to draw with it because it's, um, it's a gaming mouse. So th this dark bit may actually come to here, and this may be buried. And this may be straighter. Uh, let's do that bit again. It may sort of come to there, like that. And the angle. I don't know. So you get the idea. It, it, we may not be seeing the whole object. Could it even be part of a mosaic? Now, there are statues in the area. There are buildings in the area. There are many, many other objects in the area. Could this be a, a piece of art? that's um, partially obscured and or broken off of a, of a sort of tablet or a, um, maybe the, the inside of a building or something like that where there was something mounted on the wall or on, on the plinth or something. Could it be? Or, like I said, could this actually be an entrance? Could this be going down? Could there be something looking out like this kind of monkey dude here? That's the head, right? Could this be an entrance? Uh, probably not. Uh, it's absolutely insane. Let's, 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 um, let's get rid of that a minute. And let's look at the larger version of it. I've got a larger clip here. Right. Now that's completely raw. Nothing done to it, just been enlarged to stop it pixelating too much. And then here's the enhancement. Now it doesn't get any clearer when you get this close, but you can see this edge is pretty fine here and that corner. And you can see those eyes and then the little nose. I've got some other images up here of, let's flick through some of these. There's the raw clip, basic enhanced clip. I've really darkened it there just to bring out that face. I've added lots of contrast to that. There's a negative of it, and the eyes, you can see the eyes in the negative, it's absolutely insane. So it, the question is, is that a screen we're looking at? It seems a bit irregular, and um, perhaps it's partially melted or broken. I mean, if there was a nuclear war, which there was on Mars, uh, in the past, a lot of, you can see a lot of things that look melted. Perhaps this is partly melted. Why, the, um, there, there's a, a distant shot. You can see that detail even from this distance. You can see those eyes and, and brow ridges like a chimpanzee. So perhaps the person who dropped this mobile before they died or, or before they lost it was watching Planet of the Apes on it. And somehow the images stayed there. I'd, <laughs> I'd, I doubt it. <laughs> but I actually think this could be a piece of artwork. Um, because there, uh, we we haven't found many sort of what look like electronic devices in the area. Um, and uh, let's go back through those. 
There we are. There's the close up. Uh, but we we have found what well, I've I and a few other people have found dozens and dozens of statues and carved artifacts. And I have found uh, I did find a wine bottle I think with, with what looks like a label on it. Uh, you can go back through my channel and find out for probably a few years, two, two or three years ago. So there are lots of carved and manufactured items, but they look very old, as if created by an ancient culture. This looks modern. Uh, so this is different in that respect. And I'm sure lots of people out there would say, oh, it's pareidolia or whatever. Well, I actually think a lot of people with pareidolia, who keep saying this word pareidolia have actually got visual agnosia, which is actually a, a condition that stops you from recognising everyday objects. And uh, so there we have it. I'll put some clips in it of this at the end. I'm just going to, you know, if you don't think there's anything on Mars, if you're new to this channel, check out some of my other videos. I've got, um, I've got some clips here, which I'm just going to show you. Now, if, if there's nothing on Mars, then what's this huge skull doing fossilised in the rock? And you could, this is raw, this image. You can see the teeth here. They're not human teeth. This is not a human skull. There we are. There's the close-up. That is not a human skull. Very different from a human skull, although the eye sockets are what look similar to maybe a, um, an archaic human, maybe. A cro perhaps. So there's things like that. So... There's also up on Mount Sharp, which is just behind this area we're looking at, about a, about a mile away. Um, we have the pointed dome. This is really cool. I'll let the enhancement come up. This is not Paradonia. This is a building. And you can even see square block parts to it here. So we've got square bits here and a nice pointed dome, which is completely unnatural. There we have it. So we've got things like that. We've got this thing here, which was spotted by Vladimir. Vladimir Vladimirov, um, which looks like a battle tank. This was taken by the other rover, which is thousands of miles away, uh, to the west and north. And uh, this thing even has wheels. If you look really carefully, let your eyes adjust to the shadow. Look in the shadow here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six or so wheels there. Seems to have a barrel. It's got a turret with a what looks like a hatch on the top. And there's other details here which are very specific to tanks. Okay, so check that out as well. This is on the ridge line. Uh, it was taken by the Opportunity Rover a while back, although fairly recently, I think about it uh, within the last year or so. There's a comparison. We've got the mantlet here, which is this thick part. It's got a mantlet. Uh, there would have been a big um, hatch here, commander's hatch, like we have here. This was obviously uh, damaged. This is a T-34 from World War Two, And uh, it's got some very similar details. Um, a knocked-out tank often would have a depressed gun like this, pointing downwards. So, very, very tantalising details here. We also have this thing, which uh, I found recently, which is the lion, I call it the lion statue, or, or cat statue, lion found on Mars. Uh, this was right by the rover. This is quite small, this is only a few inches long. And th look at the raw image, before I show you the enhancement. Eye, mouth, ear, back of the head, broken off statue part. This is the, no the nose. And some interesting nodules on it here. Uh, insane, absolutely insane. I've sent this to the press. Only one, I think, only one newspaper actually uh, printed it. I think when they see stuff that's really convincing, they 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 get a bit scared. And the thing is, with the the mainstream media, they don't want to get the blame. <laughs> I think they're a bit scared of the authorities and and uh, being clamped down on or censored, and they don't want to get the blame. So, what what I often do is, if one newspaper will print something. I'll send it to all the others and say that they, this has already been in the press, it's already been published, then they publish it. If they, if they think someone else has already done it before them, then they, they think, oh, we won't get the blame. 
So I think they're a little bit scared, um, to be honest. And I have, I have had a lot of stuff in the press over the years, I, recently and in the past. And that they do get, there's, there's a lot of weird stuff in there, which, uh, you know, there's also the pyramid. This is one of my favorite finds. There's the raw clip. You can see it in the raw clip. Now, this is a very vague picture, so bear with me. You've got to add contrast to it to see it because this is quite a long way off. This is miles away from the rover. And uh, it's a low res image, like most, a lot of these are, are quite low res. So you ain't going to see a great deal of detail, but you can see the shape. Unmistakable intelligent structure. And when you darken it, you can see it. You know, all you've got to do is add contrast. You don't need to be an image expert to do this. All you need is a basic, really basic graphics program. Uh, like I use, which is uh, basically called uh, PaintShop Pro 9. This is completely free. You know, one step photo fix is right at the top. I mean, anyone, anyone can do that. <laughs> it doesn't You don't have to be a genius to do that. And then darken it, which is Shift, Shift B, that's brightness and contrast. Let's go again, Shift B, there we are. It's that simple. Much quicker than Photoshop. Probably not as good, I, I admit, but it's. I don't manipulate the photographs very much, so I don't need airbrushes, I don't need stuff like that. All I need is brightness contrast and the odd bit of colour correction. That's all I ever do, really. Um, sometimes I might um, cut out something or, or select round it and then colourise it to make it stand out. So there we are. Is it a mobile phone? Um, I, I, I've got a picture up here of some mobile phones. Just for, for any of you that do actually have visual agnosia, and don't know what a mobile phone looks like, there we are. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, there's a whole bunch of them here. I mean, it may not be, of course. It may be part like part of a, a, a piece of art, which I think is more likely. That it just happens to look like a mobile phone in shape. So, there we have it. Answers on a postcard, folks. Is this actually a mobile phone? Um, or... Is it something else? Is it actually something else? There we are. Uh, it's in, in absolutely insane. There seems to be some details here, like a little. There's like a little button there. Just here, there's like a indent. But this thing next to it is it's got like a, a circular part here. If you look carefully. Okay. So that's not a rock anyway. So whatever you think about this. <laughs> we got a wheel shaped kind of cog like thing here so there we are leave your comments comments and witticisms below uh what is it could it be i don't know i'm just speculating here we will probably never know uh the, the, the rovers moved on from this area this image was taken a couple of years back so we won't go back to it now probably not unless they send another rover to the same spot which is doubtful um Where's the raw image? Uh, there's the raw image, there we are. And the part of the raw image to look is up here towards the center left, above this big, big rock here. It's just straight above there. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you soon.